Hey everybody, John with Freshwater Systems here. Today I'd like to talk to you about a question that we get quite frequently. Do we sell salt-free water softeners? Well, unfortunately, salt-free water softeners don't exist. We do sell a product that's a salt-free water conditioner. And there's a distinct difference between a water softener and a salt-free water conditioner. And we're going to talk about that. A water softener works by taking the hardness minerals out of the water and it does that through a process called ion exchange where the hardness ions are collected in a resin bed. A salt free water conditioner doesn't take the minerals out of the water, it actually alters them physically and turns them into little micro crystals. In that shape, they're unable to come out of solution and create scale. So quite frankly, the best term that we can use for a salt-free water conditioner would be a scale inhibitor. The process that a scale inhibitor uses, or this particular one for example, is called template assisted crystallization. That's a fancy word for altering these hardness minerals when they make contact with the media. And the media is this white powdery stuff and it takes surprisingly little in a, in a housing or a full size tank to create this process. And when the hardness minerals come in contact with this media, they're physically altered into a crystal. And these little micro crystals can't come out of solution, can't create scale. So it's quite an effective process. A scale inhibitor such as our ScaleNet product and a water softener do similar things, but results are different. A water softener, for example, when it takes that mineral out of the water, you gain a lot of extra benefits. For example, you can use less soap and detergent because it's not bonding with hardness minerals. With a scale inhibitor, the minerals are still there, so you're not going to get the benefit of being able to cut back on the amount of soaps and detergents you use. The minerals will still bury themselves in fabrics, so you're, you do have the chance of seeing your whites get a little dingy, your uh, towels and clothing might feel a little stiffer because the minerals are still there, even though they're in a crystallized form. A water softener with taking the minerals out, that's where we get the benefits of softened water. And if, if you're looking for soft water benefits, the scale inhibitor is not going to provide them. If you're not looking for softened water benefits, a scale inhibitor might be the right product for you. There are places where you can install a scale inhibitor and there's places where you can't. And one of the prime places you can't, unfortunately, is where a lot of hardness comes from, and that's private wells. Well water, a lot of times, is gonna have iron and manganese, and if those elements are present, it's basically gonna make this scale inhibitor media inert. If any of those are there, it's gonna cover up that media and when the media can't contact the hardness minerals, the crystals aren't created. So it's not able to be a product for well water. In order to get hardness out there, you're probably better off to stick with a water softener, an ion exchange water softener. Now you're asking, where can I use the salt-free water conditioner? Well, these are great products for a lot of reasons if you're on city water. As long as you've got city water that is iron and manganese free, these systems actually work pretty well. And what I call the sweet spot of where they apply really well is pretreatment for a tankless water heater or a standard water heater. The ability for that crystallization to occur keeps those minerals in solution. Now other scale inhibitors such as a phosphate don't do well in the hot water environments. The phosphate tends to break apart and you do get some scale occurring. The 
salt-free process of template-assisted crystallization does extremely well in the hot water environments, specifically the tankless types. And if you've ever had to pay to descale a tankless water heater, the TAC system is going to work really well for you and keep that from happening again. Another thing that occurs with salt-free water conditioners with that crystallization, as it flows through your pipes, when it makes contact with existing scale, it will start to tear it apart and take it out. Now there is a downside to that. If you have a lot of scale buildup in your plumbing, application of this type of a product could very well clog the plumbing downstream as that hardness and scale get released and pulled away from the plumbing. I guess the good news to that is once you've accumulated it all and cleared it, you probably have to have a plumber come out. Uh, now you've got pretty clear pipes. You probably have the best flow rate you've ever had. Here's some really great things about the salt-free type systems. Not a lot of maintenance to them. Really, every three to five years, you replace the media. That's it. There's no salt to add. There's no potassium to add. There's no drain connection. And the benefit of that is when softeners regenerate, there's chlorides going down the waste stream. And there's several places through the country, California specifically, that have a problem with the additional chloride going into the waste stream. With a salt-free system, there is no waste stream. It's literally water through, and it's available in other sizes. For example, a drop-in cartridge available with the media inside makes a perfect uh, addition to treating a water heater. If all you want to do is protect the water heater, it's available in a housing and cartridge form so that there is even less maintenance and even less cost. And there's several folks that really don't care for the feel of soft water. This would be a great product to give you the benefits of scale inhibiting, protecting your hot water appliances without having that slippery feel of soft water. Now a lot of people seem to like that slippery feel. I happen to be one of them. But there are those out there that would prefer not to have that. A salt-free system would be a great product for them as long as they're on city water. Keep that in mind. Another thought for city water folks that are interested in this anti-scale process is to add carbon before the unit for the whole house. And that benefit is the reduction of chlorine or chloramines, which will give the scale inhibiting media a little protection. But the added benefit is you've made the water taste and feel better throughout the house in addition to preventing scale. Now you've got a whole house system that's really covering a lot of bases, and that would be a, a, a great addition. A key variance on the different types and sizes of the housings used with this type of media, it's all about flow rate. So the bigger the house, the bigger the flow rate, the more media you need. If all we're doing is isolating a water heater or a tankless system, we just have to worry about the flow rate through that, and that's where we might get into some of the housing and drop-in cartridge style systems. And give us a call if you need some help figuring that out. Well, that's all I've got on salt-free water conditioners, anti-scale, scale-inhibiting systems. If you're interested, give us a call. We'll try and help you figure out which system is best for you. Be sure and like our video, subscribe to our channel, and check us out on our website for more information on these systems at freshwatersystems.com.